I am Eli G. Brown slash Eli G. Brony. First off, I'd like to thank all of you who have wished me a happy birthday today. Uh, it was very good that you all appreciated me and all cared for me. So, I thank you all for that and, well, and happy Valentine's Day to you too. Um, well, anyway, today, well, I have made these mocks, these bionicle mocks based upon real life creatures because I've gotten interested in creating mocks based upon real life animals. Uh, so, I've made these today. I'm at, I'm reviewing all three of them together because they're very small and there isn't really much detail about them. And plus, if I only reviewed one of them um, at a time, the video would only be about a minute or two minutes long, which would be kind of boring. So, I'm looking at all three of them together. First, I'm going to take these guys out of the way and take a look at this guy right here. Uh, this is the first one that I've done today. This is the owl. This is an owl that I've done. And the, the inspiration for this? For some reason, last night, I could hear an owl in my room. And that was quite unusual. I, I don't usually hear owls where I live. I mean, I know that owls do live in uh, my part of the world, but not many are ever seen. I mean, there aren't many forests in the city that I live in. But I, I decided to make one. So how did I do this? Well, well, here, here's a little special thing that I've done. I've done this with custom Matoran in the past. Um, I took the original Matoran body, um, the back known then Tahunga body, or as most fans like to refer to them, as the Mictoran. So I used one of those bodies, and I put it in a Telemetro body, and then put a three long size axle piece through. It goes through the hole on the body, and well, that's how I attached it like this. I I've used this method to create custom Matoran, and it looks pretty good. And another thing that I've done was create the face. So I use these Baraki eyes for the eyes of the creature, and this piece for the beak. Though it kind of looks like he's whistling, just like with the snowman set that I reviewed back in December. And he's also got these things, these Telemetro armor pieces that are used as wings. Now, originally, I was going to have the tips, the Vaki, not Vaki, Viserac tips um, for the wings, but I only had one in the right color in the bin, because I used, um, well, I didn't have a pair because I used one on my Toa Pooks mod. So I decided to use these ones instead. And what is quite interesting is that to make these wings move about, you hold the beak and move it about just like that. Isn't that interesting? So that's the owl. A very interesting looking owl. Uh, I'm not really trying to base this off of a character or a creature that you would see in the Bionicle universe. I just decided to create it just for the sake of making a creation. This is basically supposed to be an owl in real life. Though you could imagine this to be part of the Bionicle universe, and since it is made out of Bionicle parts, I'm gonna call it as such. A Bionicle universe owl. Now, these two guys right here, on the left is a rat, and on the right is a mouse. I know some people are gonna say that rats and mice are different, which, in a lot of ways, they are, but... And, and they are both part of the rodent family, but... Here's the thing, rats are... a bit larger than mice. These two guys are built almost the same way, not exactly the same way, but almost the same way. So that's why I'm looking at them both at the same time. 
with the mouse right here. This was actually the first one out of these two that I did uh, overall with every creation that I'm showing in this video. It's the owl that was built first. So, I used the, I made this mouse. Originally it was going to be a brown mouse, but I just did not have enough brown parts to do that, so I decided to make it silver instead. So I used two uh, Borok feet in the silver color that was introduced with the Borok call in that specific color. And I used one for the main body and one for the main head, and I used <laughs> those same pieces for the feet as well. And what I did was use a Toa Hordika neck piece, that's what I called it a long time ago, and put it into the bottom of the first bow rock foot, and then use the five long size axle armor piece to uh, connect the legs. Now, originally I did use a four long piece, but it was just too, those pieces were just too close together. You could barely move the uh, legs without having the piece uh, get uh, a bit loose. And I also used this connection piece. Um, it's, it's like that to connect the tail, though I could have used silver ones. I do have at least one silver one, but I'm not sure if I have two, but I really could not bother making the switch. But I am quite satisfied with what I've got here. And I use these Telemetru chest pieces for the ears. And it is quite interesting. Quite similar to the fox mock that I did um, in January, but you know, it, it looks pretty good. You know, using those ball pieces for the eyes and the nose. It, it works out pretty good. And for the rat mock, this one right here, it was built quite similar, though there are some differences here. Though the foot, I used the gray, the new gray pieces of the uh, original Toamata feet for this, both as the actual feet and as the body and head. Though this one is facing the other way than the Borok foot used as a body on the mouse was facing. And I had to use these pieces to make sure that uh, this worked out pretty well with the tail. This, this tail piece was actually originally on the mouse mock, but it looked too long, so I decided to give it to the rat instead. And the rat's head is built quite similar to how the mouse is built, and also the same as how the fox that I made was built too. And the ears are also done using this sort of piece. I hope you can tell what piece that is. And this is the assembly of the ears. So I just put that on. And also, um, you can't tell on the camera this, but the uh, most of the gray pieces on this rat mock are the new gray pieces. Only the legs are the old gray pieces. I know a lot of people hate the old gray pieces because, well, they're out of date. They don't fit very well with the uh, Bionicle or Hero Factory universe, but I really would hate to throw these guys away in the trash. I mean, well, for one thing, why would you throw these pieces away? I mean, just because you don't want to use them doesn't mean nobody will. And I actually do like to use both old gray and new gray pieces, though usually not together uh, like I did here, but, but use both of them equally since I have them. But what is a bit aggravating is that for the these legs here, uh, one of them that I had uh, was kind of floppy, flopping around so that the leg would just fall down, uh, and it would not work out pretty well. I really don't know why that even happened, like if it was either a factory error, or maybe just because it was old, but, but thankfully, I had more than just four of these guys in the bin, because Nuvok was not the only set to include those specific pieces in these specific colors, so that's a thing to think. So that's about it. Those are the three mocks that I've made uh, today on February 14th, 2014. The owl, the rat, and the mouse.
I may do a couple more of these in the future, but for now, I thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you again later.